are doing a special episode on dairy. We actually took a um, special trip over to Crystal Springs Creamery um, and we're going to be using some of their products today and showing you how to spruce them up. They already do a great job, make some really awesome cheeses and butters um, and we've kind of been inspired by them today. My dad's going to tell you a little bit about their trip to go. Yeah, dad and I took a trip over to Crystal uh, Springs uh, Creamery the other day and uh, wandered around their place. It's an actual dairy farm uh, located right off of County Road 26 and Ash Road. They've got a, a neat little shop there where they have all of their milks and cheeses. They've got a gift shop. Uh, they got a cute couple cute little baby calves out front that you can pet and talk to that moo at you when you move in. So we had a great time talking with Tim, learning about cheese curds and milk. So today we're going to use some of their products. And like Amanda said, we got inspired. So we're going to use some yogurts and some butters and some cheeses and do some things for you today that uh, you can uh, get those products and use them in your dinners. So. I'm going to turn it back over to Amanda. She's going to work with some cheese curds, I think. Yes, follow me over here. I'm actually drinking some of their eggnog right, right now, which is a little early for eggnog, but it is delicious. Tis the season. Yeah, yeah, we're moving in. You know, Halloween's over, so now it's Christmas time. That's how it works these days, so little sip of that before we get started. What I'm going to be making today is marinated cheese curds. So we're going to start with some of Crystal Springs natural cheese curds. They're unflavored. Um, and... I'm going to read a little bit about the cheese curds here so I don't screw it up and tell you the wrong thing, but cheese curds are made from fresh pasteurized milk in the process of creating cheese when bacterial culture and rennet are added to clot the milk. So after the milk clots, it is then cut into cubes and the result is a mixture of whey and curd. So that's what cheese curds are. And a good cheese curd is going to be squeaky in your mouth when you bite down on it. <laughs> squeaky. Wheezy. Wheezy. Yeah. Squeaky. Squeaky. <laughs> squeaky. 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 All right, so first we're going to start um, with uh, 12 ounces of cheese curds in this container. Um, we are going to place all of our cheese cards, cur cards, curds into a mason jar here. And this is what we're going to marinate them in. If I can get them all out of here, just really get in there. Come on. Gosh, these look good. I love cheese curds. We like to fry cheese curds uh, too. You can bread them. I've, I, Grandpa was saying you can fry Culver, them. I think Culver's fry. used to have them. Culver's, Culver's still has them, but they actually have a recipe for their batter yeah. online. Yes. So you can batter and make your own cheese curds with a Culver's batter. He was saying you can fry them without breading, which I would be interested to try that. I bet it's delicious. I like it quick. crispy on the outside. All right, and then we are going to add half a cup of olive oil. Mm, those are good. <laughs> That's about half. There we go. All right, half a cup into the jar here. And then I've got about six basil leaves here that I've cleaned off. And if you remember our trick from one of our very first episodes, you're going to want to roll your herbs up like this. And then you can just go through. That's called what? Oh, Chefinade. Chefinade. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't even remember what the trick was called. I know how to do it. I just don't know what it's called. <laughs> So we're going to do that. That's going to go into our mason jar here. We've got a, make sure this is a teaspoon, teaspoon of some dried oregano. You could use fresh if you want to. But the oil is going to kind of uh, rehydrate some of that oregano as they're marinating. Get everything in there. What happened to my salt and pepper? Oh, I'm sorry. I took it. See? I stole it from it's his, it's his fault this time. Always, always doing this to each other. A little salt and pepper. Give that back to you. Then we're going to put the lid on. Real tight. And mix this around a little. Oh, yeah. Give it a good shake. And then you're going to want to put this in the fridge overnight. You can do it longer. For, I'll do that. Uh, and let them just sit. And we've got some that we've been marinating here. Pull the magic out. fridge. Nice and cold, yes. The, the lid changed color. Oh, gosh, look at that. All kinds of marinade in there. These are going to be good. All right, so what I've got is a little uh, 
poker here. We're just going to pull a few out for our guests. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Um, we have our guests today. They smell good. Jerry and Jean uh, came to join us to uh, share a uh, no. Dairy day. Cameraman oh, hand. Cameraman hand. That's real dirty. <laughs> we might need a paper towel or a napkin. <laughs> yeah, right over here. Here we All go. Right. Some cheese curds <laughs> for you. He's a one-handed cameraman at the moment who's smiling. <laughs> All righty. Now tell us what you think of those. They're good. Oh, you're asking them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to move over to Grandpa. He's going to show you how to do some salmon. What you ever had the cheese curds? Cheese curds before? What do you think? Different. I've had them before, but never marinated. So. Good. Really they good. make them flavored over there, too. You buy habanero, all kinds of flavored ones. And sometimes don't they put, like, cherry tomatoes in here, too? Right, yep. We have all kinds of recipes to do them. Uh, I'm going to make a salmon. Well, I'm going to use yogurt. And uh, very quickly... People always ask us, uh, when I see a recipe that calls for sour cream, or yogurt, or creme fraiche, uh, can I substitute, because they're all three approximately, you know, roughly the same thing. Um, yes, you can. The taste will be different. Um, sour cream is made from uh, pasteurized, let's see, pasteurized from milk. Excuse me. Sour cream's made from cream that's uh, treated with some bacteria and stuff and let, you know, let it thicken and sour. Uh, yogurt is milk that's done the same way, basically. And creme fraiche, creme fraiche in Europe was non-pasteurized milk or cream, which they just let set for days. And it thickens on its own. Here in the United States, they do it with pasteurized cream. So basically, they're all three the same. They have a little different taste. But I used yogurt in my sauce today. So I've had my salmon and a little milk just to take the little bit of the fish in the salad. I'm putting it on parchment paper. You could put it on a greased pan if you want, but if you put it on parchment paper, you don't have to wash the pan. And I'm always looking not to wash the pan. Uh, I made a little sauce here. Now what I have is the yogurt. About... Oh, half a, excuse me, about six, four to six ounces of yogurt. I have uh, ground mustard. I have uh, dill. And I have about a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. So we're going to... Got to have the cheese in there. Got to have cheese. It's all cheese today. Are you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> not in this family, I'm not. So we coat the, coat the salmon. That looks so good. And we have the oven going at 425 degrees. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to pop this in the oven. I'm going to get that for you. And I already have some going here. Mm, that smells good. It does smell good. So I'm going to grab that and that, maybe. <laughs> There we go. We have our salmon. Now, when you go to the store and you look in the fresh meat counter, they always say the salmon's fresh. Well, <clears throat> folks, it's not fresh. <laughs> it's been frozen and thawed out. It would be very expensive to get sockeye salmon here fresh. <laughs> if you find it, you're going to pay a big price for it. The best way to buy your salmon is frozen. That way, you thaw it. It's fresh, flash frozen when they catch it. You get it, you thaw it. Huh. If you let the supermarket thaw it out, lay it in their counter for two days before you buy it, you're better off to buy the salmon for laser stuff. You want the skin on. I prefer the skin on. You get a little more uh, flavor. There's a lot of flavor in the skin, so you manage to get that out. Um, so let's just serve this up here so you guys can get a taste and tell me what you think. The other thing is if you don't, if you uh, put it uh, on parchment paper, it's a little easier to get up than on, uh, Amanda, would you? 
Oh, accident. That might more hurt it. I bet it tastes just as good. I bet you will. I will. Get this out of your way. Okay. So we have it here. Let's look a little nicer. You know my hands are clean because I did it in that bleach yeah. water, guys. You remember that? Yes. yes. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. A little asparagus. A little asparagus on the sides. There and there. And you said you could use some kind of like risotto or rice. You could use risotto, rice, uh, fr rice, a little wild rice with it would be great. Uh, uh, a great way to use it. Let's take a little, let's get a little uh, extra garnish here. Let's just do a little extra uh, dill on the top there, like that. Oh, we, always, well, we should, we should have had Brock do this, right? He'd win I the know, prize. he's a good, he's a good player. He'd win the prize. What? What? <laughs> I say you'd win the prize. Oh, absolutely I would. Now, Thank when you. you cook salmon, I hope this is, it's a little tricky to do it the way we do it here without being able to check it back and forth, but when you cook salmon, salmon should be the center should be just a little bit stiff, still transparent. Not raw, mm. just a little transparent. Mm. If you, if you, and that's going to depend on, of course, the thickness of the salmon. So we'll see how we did here. I think this might be a little more done. I'm not sure. Looking at the side of it, I guess it's pretty good. I don't know. It looks pretty good. That looks pretty good to me. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Is that yeah, good? That's good. You just um, didn't say that because I gave you free wine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, Dad. What do you got for us? Well, I'm going to do something that is pretty easy that most people don't even think about. Um, you know, butter is butter, and, and Crystal Springs has their own butter there. Uh, they also have some flavored butters, which uh, one I have over here is a, a honey cinnamon butter. It's uh, really good on rolls. You go to the restaurants, and everybody says, oh, their butter's so good with the cinnamon and the honey and all that kind of stuff. Well, you know, you can make your own. So... And those are compound butters. Anything you can mix with butter, any flavor you like. I've made avocado butters. I've made garlic butters for my own garlic toast. But today, I'm going to make two butters um, that, uh, one, I have never tried before and I thought sounded pretty good. I'm going to make a spicy buffalo compound butter. So what I've done is I've taken one whole stick of butter. And I've cut it into chunks and I put it into what we finally call our little motorboat chopper. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay, and then I'm going to take some chives, fresh chives. And I'm just going to chop those up real fine. Although they're going to get chopped up when I put them in the motorboat. Dad, I like your hat. You like my hat? This hat, I got this hat when we went on our trip to uh, Crystal Springs. First thing I saw when I walked in was this hat covered in... Uh, in cow print, and I said, gotta have one. So I bought it, and I told him I would wear it during the show. So I'm gonna put in uh, to this uh, two tablespoons, roughly, of fresh chives that I chopped up. And that's, to, you're gonna give it a pretty good little chivey, little oniony flavor there. And then I'm gonna take roughly four ounces, okay, of blue cheese, and I might be a little more liberal with the blue cheese than, than some would be. If you like blue cheese, you can always add more. Because remember, you're blending this in with the butter. Okay, now that I have all my ingredients into my little motorboat, we got to motorboat this thing. And the reason they call it a motorboat is, well, you'll see. It's like starting an outboard motor, okay? We're going to pull on this thing. We're going to blend this stuff up. And about three or four more pulls. It's a great workout too, folks. Okay. Good for getting out some yeah, good for getting out aggression. You're gonna <laughs> twist the lid off of this. Okay, so now I've got my blue cheese and my butter and my hot sauce all blended up. Oh, cameraman hand again. I taste it. What do you think, cameraman? Yep. Okay. Pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take. I'm just gonna put on a pair of gloves here real quick, just so I can do it. Would one of you hand me a spatula? I need to uh, scoop this out. What we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna scoop this out onto some parchment paper. Okay, I'm gonna pull my, my blades out real fast. All right, there we go. Now this is gonna look a little chunkier than it did when I do butter normally because of the blue cheese. 
But we're gonna get this all out of the container, like so. Put it in a nice little pile, get rid of that. And we're gonna put this into a little log here, and this is where the gloves come in. You're gonna squeeze this all back into a log, okay? This is, almost has the consistency of a cheese ball, um, but it will harden up in the fridge. And you can put it in the fridge, or you can put it in the freezer, wrap it with foil, and it should keep for about three weeks. So what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna roll this over, and as you're rolling it, just start forming it into a log. There you go, you're gonna get that all rolled over. Twist the ends. like that and you can see it turned into a nice slender little log. Now if you want to give this away as a Christmas gift you could wrap this in foil, put a little bow around the top and you'd be all set to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey here's some butter, here's some buffalo, hot spicy buffalo butter, something they don't have. But anyway that's how to make a compound butter and again making compound butter like we did earlier with the with the lemon and the dill, you can make it with honey, you can make it with all kinds of stuff. So don't be afraid to experiment and make your own compound butter with the flavors that you really like. So, guys, yeah. we're, what, I think we're how done. How would you serve that with? Chris? I would put this on a burger. Okay. Or grilled chicken sandwich. Steak. Think about it. Grilled, uh, grilled chicken steak. sandwich with uh, some steak. spicy buffalo compound butter on it. it would be awesome. So, anyhow, that's okay. that. That's it for our, our dairy episode. Episode 7. Team. Yes, in the can, in the can. We're, give us a like, follow us on Instagram. Uh, make sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you want to tell them about our... Yeah, about our apparel. We have now have apparel on the website, www.cookingtogether.com. Go right there. There's a big pink button on the home screen. Click on it. We've got chef's hats. We've got aprons. We've got chef coats. We've got regular hats. We've got fleece pullovers, we've got t-shirts, we've got all kinds of things on there. And again, proceeds from the sale of those items will go to us to make bigger donations to breast cancer and breast cancer and, awareness. And I need help getting to 500 cookbooks by Christmas, yes. please. Yeah, help me because <laughs> I don't know where, I mean, we got we got a bunch of cookbooks we still need to sell yet, folks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're great Christmas gifts. If you've already bought one, thank you. If you've already bought one, buy another one for your family. Buy them for Christmas gifts, they're great for the chef. For a good cause. Good for us. Thanks, guys. It was Thank great. Thank you. Cheers. Hey, hey, hey. And drink, drink more, more milk. milk. <laughs> <laughs>